Hi, I'm Cal Foley, Outfitter.com, here talking with Kevin Eisler, our Razor Weld Rep. He's going to be going over the Razor uh, 145, 180, and 210. These are digital make tick art machines. So, Kevin, I'll take it away. Perfect. Thanks, Cal. Going over here, we've got the uh, 145, the 180, and the 210 amp uh, Razor Weld make tick and stick digital line. These are really nice welding machines. The beauty of this machine is how easy it is to actually run. Everything's right here on the front display. I've got stick welding, we can TIG weld, and I can wire feed weld. I can also go into a feature we've got called Smart Set. When I go into this, I tell the machine what size wire and what type of gas we're running, and it'll actually give us a good range of welding. For example, I just went up to uh, 7525, so that would be argon CO2 mix, with an 035 wire, and it's giving me a range now. And anywhere within this range, it'll weld perfect. If I like to weld a little hotter or colder than uh, maybe one of my buddies, we can change that. It does let you fine tune it within a couple of volts. So it makes it real easy to set up and go right out of the box. Another great feature of this machine, it's standard with 11 pound spools. I've got the dry rolls to handle anything from 023 up to 045 wire. It's got the inch feature in it. It does have a gas purge feature for setting the regulator. And I've also spool gun ready right out of the box. So all I'd have to do is pop the spool gun on and be ready to roll if I wanted to put it into work for aluminum or something like that. The machine will run on 110 or 220. It comes standard with an adapter plug. The machine has a 220 volt plug on the back and it will adapt down to the 110 if you want to run it there. There is no external switching or anything like that. You plug the machine in and it figures out what we're running on and how to run on. It does come with your gas hose, regulator, uh, ground clamp, and stick electrode, and your big welding gun. The big welding gun is your standard 13 foot quick connect gun. It has standard Twico number two consumables on the front. Uh, very common parts you can find anywhere. Nothing uh, special to us. Like I said, it has a quick disconnect. Pop the gun right on the front of the machine. If we were wire feed welding and wanted to switch over to stick welding, all I do, this would be our ground plan, of course, is switch over, plug this in, turn our dial, and now we're ready to stick weld. Uh, within seconds, you can switch process and uh, really that easy. So Kevin, some of the main, I guess the three main points for this would be that it does run 110 and 230. Correct. So if you're, you know, if you've got 110 and your buddy's got 230, you can run it at both places. Uh, the other thing is it's all quick disconnect guns, so it's really easy to use. And then I guess the biggest feature would be the smart set. Correct. Um, that, where you can place it, what, what you're using, and it'll set the machine for you, which is pretty handy. If you don't know, you know, if you're just getting into welding, that's a really great feature. I'm um, gonna help you out. Another great thing that Razor Roll does is it does have some uh, settings on the inside of their uh, cover here. So it kind of tells you if you're running this or that, that wire, this gas, it'll tell you that, how to do that. Um, this package that we have right here does not come with a TIG gun, but there are packages that do. So what we'll be doing with that is we'll be uh, having at the end of this video all the parts of those packages. And Kevin does have a tick gun here. It's a pretty pretty cool tick gun. Quick disconnect on here, Kevin. Correct. It would go right on where your big gun goes. And the beauty of that is no extra gas hoses. It's going to use our internal solenoid inside the machine to turn the gas on and off. It's actually got an on-off button on the torch. It is lift arc. There is no high frequency coming out of here. So it is a lift arc torch, but it does have the on-off switch. So when you're done with your weld, you can actually turn the arc off without lifting the torch off the part. And that, that's a pretty pretty sweet feature to have that. You just have one spot to hook it in, gas hose, you have to switch gas hose. And another great thing about this, it does come spool gun ready. Razor Roll has a pretty inexpensive spool gun that hooks into it. Quick disconnect also. Yep, exactly. It would go right where the big gun goes again. The gas is ready to set. Um, and all you really do for that is put your pure argon gas on there. The hose is quick disconnect so you can switch out your tanks real simple and you're ready to weld. So 
I guess the easiest way to put it is there's three machines on our set. There's this digital and the smart set. It's a uh, Razor 145, the Razor 180, and the Razor 210. They do MIG, TIG, STICK. Uh, make sure you get the right package if you do need to do TIG. At the end of this video, I'll have a list of all the different models that we have, whether it has a TIG torch or without the TIG torch, the spool gun, and some of the other accessories for it. So Kevin, thanks for stopping by today. Everyone out there, have a great one. Thank you.